Welcome back to Pennsylvania. We're now just passing the exit that would normally take to go to Hershey. When we went to the car show just a week ago. Papa Bear and I were down here uh, less than a week ago going to the big car show down here where we got some cool stuff, uh, including a 1981 Cadillac Fleetwood Brome Coupe that I'm gonna show you in an upcoming video. Uh, I think you're really gonna enjoy that one because I'm gonna show you how cool that 864 1981 Cadillac technology was back in the day. But anyways, we're back down here again. Uh, a week ago, we didn't know about this opportunity and here we are uh, going to uh, look at and hopefully buy and acquire. We're driving the Duramax diesel car trailer in tow. Cash, what are you beeping for? Coming over that way. Uh, yeah, and you're not paying attention either. I'm paying attention. Anyways, I'm the passenger. Uh, <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Oh, we're coming from <laughs> 92 Cadillac Brome D Elegance, 5.7 liter. Oh my God! God! Relax. Yeah. Okay. This is my truck. <laughs> you had no problem when I was you were sleeping and I was driving. I didn't know what you were doing. That's good. <laughs> Pup Bay has got a thing for tailgating people. No, I'm not. So this is a black sapphire 92 D elegance with a 5.7, uh, 49,000 miles. And because it got 49,000 miles, that's why we have the trailer at home because God forbid we rolled over 50,000 miles. But we also don't really know if we're buying it and we're 10 hours from home. Uh, so I really, you know, as, as easy as it would be to just put a plate on it and drive it, Sometimes driving 10 hours by myself in one car. Watch and, out vehicle on shoulder ahead. And Papa Bear in the other car. It's a long way to drive by yourself. Anyways, we're heading out there now, about four and a half hours away. Uh, she also has a 1985 Buick LeSabre Limited Collector's Edition with 69,000 miles, a sedan. Uh, I'm gonna take a look at that as well. So we'll see what happens. We'll see which one we get. If we get both, one, none, I don't really know, but we got money in hand, trailer in tow, and we're on the way. This one is a collector's edition. It's like a sage green. Limited. I think they're all limited. And I know they're all collector's editions. Ninety-two thousand miles. This one smells like an old car from the eighties. Cadillac at least smells good. All right. 
let's load up. Got a blue brome. I'm not taking the Buick. Trailer. These guys out here. The diesel. She's leaking. Got diesel fuel running out of. Uh oh. I hope that's not it. Is that diesel? I hope that's the air conditioning. They did make a, a appliance appliance made a wire wheel for these cars. I, I looked it up. It wasn't wasn't over. You gonna spot me enough? I think it's water. I hope it's water. Yeah, me too. From the AC. Yeah, I was running it on the way down, so probably so. Come on more, Anthony. Keep, keep coming. Come on up. That's probably good right there, pal. Uh, it ain't going to make much difference at this point. <laughs> oh, that's going to hit the road. All right, we're locked and loaded. Got the diesel dieseled up. Here she is. It's a 1992 Brome de Elegance. Got the wire spoke caps. Uh, hard to see, but it's not black, it's blue. Blue leather interior. I know this is poor lighting, but she's shiny, very shiny. 49,000 miles on this car. Here comes Papa Bear. I just treated him to a nice gourmet steak at the Texas Roadhouse. Just showing off my new Cadillac. Original top. Just what they're all looking for, black sapphire. Black sapphire is the color recently. They even left the plate on it. That's not supposed to be there though. Oop. Yep. Let's just pop that back on. 5.7. Yeah, there she is. Ready to go, Papa Bear? I'm ready. Let's go. I think it got a little bit of a leak. Got some buildup on the tailgate. And I think it's gonna start plastering all over the front of this car. Yeah. Yeah, you can kinda already see it. I think it's diesel fuel. But we're like 10 hours from home, so wish us the best. Jeez. Watch out for the curb. What do you think, Papa Bear? I think it's gonna be a nice ride home. Nice ride home. A we nice won't get car home. And a trailer. We won't get home at midnight. No, I know, huh? That's the first. So what's that mean? We got work to do. Yeah, we got work to do when we get home. <laughs> gonna take it off the trailer? Probably. Yeah. Ready to rock and roll? Ready to roll. Try to get inside of this car now. And it's light out. Put a headliner in it. Look at the color they used. Oh, gonna have to redo that. 
Redo, redo, redo. But 49,000 miles, which needs a good detail. But I got a guy for that. A little leaky under there? Yeah. It's Hope. actually pretty goddamn messy in there. Oh, it's all over the back of the truck. It looks like it's all on the inside of the drum with the uh, right side of the vehicle. It's I'll drive. We definitely have a fuel leak. You can see on the buildup. It's all over the wheel, all over the mud flap. Even dripping off the trailer. All over the front of the car. Diesel fuel. Fuel leak. See you. You see me, I see you. I also see brooms. Yeah. I got double, double, double vision, baby. I got brooms. I got brooms. In different area codes. Area codes. Brooms. I got brooms. In different area codes. Sell one, buy one just like it. Yep. Is that godforsaken bridge again? The Tappan Zee Bridge. Hello. Something important going on. Not one, but two. How are we doing on our fuel situation? Oh yeah. She's got gas all over it. This thing is just drenched. Poor car. Florida coach. Is he coming? Yeah. <laughs> Got your hands in the back. I didn't see that earlier. What do you do? Ah, uh, just fucking bombing by in that thing. Little brome on brome action. Got back home with the Cadillac, and you can see. All the sooty, oily gas all over the front of this thing. I mean, plastered on this car and on the trailer. All over the truck. Just all over the tailgate. Like, it's gross. This is all black and wet. And it's even running and puddling. That's coming up over the, the fender. I'm gonna have to drop this thing off to have it serviced. All over the mud flap. It wasn't coming out of the exhaust. I think it's just leaking fuel. And the dirty Duramax. Oh yeah, we got fuel leakage. Does it need a new home yet? No, not yet. We gotta put some miles on this car. We'll drive it. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it's pretty. See the waterfall? It's back there, honey.
<laughs> Daddy's laughing at mommy. Why? Cause mommy's mowing down on donuts. Mm -hmm. Got balls behind us. Up Paul. Hey babe.